Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta Camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Racha Kudash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and it's going to be God's Son's true name, being Yahweh Shai, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. I also want to give a shalom to the sincere Akim, who are the brothers preaching teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to the sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right, I came across this image here that was pushed on social media, you know, and I thought it was only right, you know, to defend the gospel, man. All right, of the nation of Islam and you, and you Muslims, all right, Yahweh Shai is the son of God. All right, Yahweh Shai is the son of God. And you see, it says Muhammad speaks. All right, and this is all, this is just idol worship. This is a false traditions and false customs and, and false ideologies, man. All right, and they claim, and that's one thing I thought, I always thought was interesting with the Nation of Islam concerning Minister, Minister Farrakhan, you know, Reza Islam, all right? They always, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta really take that in for account. They always quote and reference the Holy Bible, but rarely reference the Holy Quran. You know, and I'm, I can't even say holy, man. They they always they attempt to reference. They don't even attempt to re reference the uh, Quran, man. Okay, that's a red flag. Okay, but then they have you know Yahweh Shah, you know I, where the, the world would call Jesus in their mouth. You know they came out. They, they put this image that Jesus was only a prophet, and then I came across another one. You know, same same person, same you know nation of Islam. You indeed you Muslims. All right. Saying what they saying, uh, I'll read it verbatim. G Jesus is not God. Jesus is not the Son of God. Jesus is a prophet of God. All right, and that's and that's basically just lies according to the Bible, man. These are lies. All right. So just to hop right into it, I wanted to start with Matthew chapter twenty-seven. All right, because you always had people scoffing and mocking against Yahweh Shai. You always had these these spirits out here, man. All right, especially of those that were actually Israelites. Those are the main ones that would be scoffing. And we see that today in these last days that we're living in right now. Our people being the black Hispanic Native Americans scoffing and mocking it and talking shit against the truth and against their true power, man. All right. But this is Matthew chapter 27, verse 1, going to the crucifixion of Yahweh Shah. All right. Where he was greatly mocked, man, while he was on his deathbed. But he, but he had, he was on such a higher level of understanding. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He even said, "Hey, you know they they know not what they do." <laughs> That's how much of a level Yahweh Shai was on, man. You know. But this is Matthew twenty-seven verse one, and it reads: When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahweh Shai to pin, to put him to death. All right, persecution. You know, verse two, and it says, and when they had bound him. They led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Okay? The, you know, do, during the time period of Romans, man. Delivering him up to the to the government. Okay? And I want to go on down. Just to get a few more uh, key points. Let me go to uh, verse 40. All right? And it reads, in saying that thou was destroyed the temple. Uh, it's like, yeah, the temple. And buildest it in three days. Save thyself. If thou be the son of God. Come down from the cross. See, these were they were scoffing. They were talking shit, man. Oh, if you if you're the son of God, save yourself then. But they don't know. They hey, these people do not know any better, man. Same with you Muslims. You Muslims don't don't know any better, man. You lack you lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You lack the Holy Spirit. Okay? But you still, this that warning must still go out, man. If you don't repent, a hey, judgment will come down from, from Yahweh by Shemia al Shai. He's gonna deal with you personally, man. You know? Visit you. And judgment ultimately going into death. All right. Verse one says, likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders and said he saved others himself. He cannot save if he be the king of Israel. Let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him. See, they're there. They take They're taking talking shit to a whole nother level, man. That's a whole different level when you come against the one true power over the heaven and the earth, man. OK, verse 43 says he trusted in God. Let him deliver. Let him deliver him now if he will have him for he for he said, I am the son of God. All right. 
And let me go on down to verse 50, where it's continuing on. It says, verse 50, Yahweh Shai. All right, because the true, the true name is not Jesus. The true name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers, he saves. Okay? It says, Yahweh Shai, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, man. So he yielded, he aided, the spirit aided. The prophecy was fulfilled. Okay? Died, died there on the cross. Okay? For, for who? The nation of Israel for our sins. And I'm going to get that as well. All right, but verse 51 continuing on. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent and twined from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints, and who the saints are the right upright ones, man, righteous, okay? Israelites, it says, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. All right, so soon as Yahweh was shy, yielded up the spirit, hey, went, you know, went back to the, went, went, went to the spirit world. All right, died, as you would say, sleep, okay? Bodies came up out of the, hey, bodies rose from the graves, man. All right, verse 53, and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the satyrian and they that were with him watching Yahweh Shai saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they, they feared greatly, saying, truly this was the son of God. So when they, when they, when they, when they, bro, you know, you got the whole ground shaking. You got buildings that you, you probably think a building about to fall on you. They, they said that it said they they fear greatly. All right. That's, and that's the problem with the world today. They don't fear, you know, but that fear is about to be instilled into the world. It's about to happen, man. Okay. Through great tribulation, man. Great. The worst things you ever could think of happening is about to happen. All right. Because these, these people do not fear, man, along with you Muslims. Okay. Just, 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 you know, just going about on media, just, just talking shit, you know, blasphemy, just lying. All right. Let me also grab Acts chapter five. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 30. Okay. Cause these, in, I'm just using the Muslims as an, as an example. You know, they're going to be one of those, they're, they, they're doing that mocking and that scoffing as of right now in these last days, it's going to come a time they're going to greatly fear and understand like, damn, this is truly the son of God, man, Yahweh Shai, who those Hebrew Israelites prophesied about, man, prophesied his return. Spoke about it and taught about it before he actually returned, man. All right. So this is Acts chapter 5, verse 30. Just following that crucifixion, it says, The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, who ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's why Yahweh Shah went on that cross, man. That's why that's why prophecy had to be fulfilled. Because we needed that intercession. We needed that sacrifice. And Yahweh Shah was that sacrifice, man. Okay? For the for the nation of Israel only. All right. For the Israelites. Okay. That are scattered worldwide in every country. All right. Verse 32 and says, And we are his witnesses of these things, and so and so is also the Holy Spirit. Whom the Most High have given to them that obey Him. All right, so that's what it takes to truly understand and truly fear Yahweh by Shemiah Yahweh Shai. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures, man. All right. What else I wanted to touch on? Oh, verse thirty-one. Hey, mention that Savior. Back to that. Back to Yahweh Shai being that Savior, man. People are gonna have to put respect <laughs> on the Son of God. You know, they're gonna have to put that respect. All right. You know, let me get Revelation chapter one since I since I mentioned a hey, back just correlating with that that crucifixion, man. It's gonna it's gonna all loop back around because he that's why and that's why Yahweh Shai mentioned that. Hey, they know not what they do because he knew <laughs> he was on a whole nother level. It's gonna come all back around on you people. All right, this is Revelation chapter one verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds. This is pertaining to Yahweh Shai. All right, those clouds going he's gonna come with a, a numerable amount of chariots. All right, and also angels that you're not going to be able to count. All right, it says, And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so among. All right, so everybody's about to witness the return of Yahweh Shai, especially those of the of the uh, Hebrew Israelites, man, especially those that are Israelites of the 12 tribes of Israel, of you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're, the, you're going to be the main ones, man. Judgment must start at the house of God. All right, you're gonna be the main one. This, this, this is for you. All right. Let me also grab um, 
Philippians chapter 2. I want to get that knee bound. All right. Let me see. Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 8. And it reads, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And that was Yahweh Shai. All right. He humbled himself. He knew Yahweh Shai understood his power. All right. He under he, Yahweh Shai could have did he. For example, when when they when the Romans came in to, to grab up uh and persecute Yahweh Shai, and when Peter uh uh smote the ear off that soldier, and Yahweh Shai did what? He just simply put the ear back on, man. He had the power. He had power. He actually humbled himself and was obedient to who? The Heavenly Father. All right, the Heavenly Father's true name being what? Yahweh. Yahweh. Okay, which means he he is or he exists. Okay. It says, even the death of the cross, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai simply, he strived for the truth unto death, literally. All right, verse 9, it says, Wherefore the Most High also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Okay, so that's wrong in a lie to, to just say, oh, Yahweh Shai was only a prophet. That's a lie. It says, and giving him a name which is above every name. This is the, you can't just say he's a, no, this is the son of God. It's only one son of God, man. That's Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. All right. People are just simple, man. Truly just don't have the, this don't, they just, the people out here in, in, in this world just simply don't have the spirit. Okay. But, but still must get rebuked. All right. Through the spirit. <laughs> Verse 10, it says that the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. All right, so it's easy for people to talk that shit now. You know, have that, have, hey, keep that same energy, man, because Yahweh Shah is about to return. He's, he's about to return in our lifetime, okay? And every knee is going to bow, man. You want to, your spirit, you're not going to be able to even think about it, man. It's going to be instantly, instant reaction, all right? Verse 11, it says, and that every tongue should confess. So not only are you going to bow, you're going to confess, man. <laughs> That's going to be a beautiful sight to see. It says that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. All right. Verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's what the world lacks, man. They lack fear. Okay. They lack fear in what? In, in a true in a true power. They created the heaven and the earth. And Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, the power of the Israelites, the power of the Bible, man. Okay, they they lack that fear and trembling. All right, because truly they don't, they don't think these things are going actually going to take place. All right, but that's where they got that's where they got things messed up. All right, and if people don't repent, man, you pissing the Lord off. Ultimately, man, the Lord's getting is being pissed off. You know, and it's easy. It's it's so easy to talk and and be confident. When, before the Lord comes back, because when He comes back, hey, all that's about to get shut down. All right, all that's about to get shut down, man. Okay, this is Psalm chapter two. Uh, ooh, verse ten. I'm gonna start at verse ten. It says, "Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth." All right, so be wise, man. So it's a wise thing to fear Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Be wise if, for you people out there that can truly understand. All right, through through the scriptures, man. That can that can. Simply understand the small things of the Holy Bible, man. Hey, be wise and fear Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. All right? Be instructed, man, through these laws, statutes, commandments, through this wisdom of the scriptures of what to do to escape, all right, these troubling times to escape, basically being put to death in these last days, man. All right? Verse 11, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay? Hey, serve the Lord, sort, serve the Lord with fear and, and rejoice with trembling. Verse 12, kiss the son. This is the son of God, man. It says, kiss the son, lest he be angry. All right, you go, hey, the Lord, you're going to piss the heavenly father off if you don't worship Yahweh Shai, if you don't acknowledge his son by saying, he, oh, he's not the son of God. Oh, he's only a prophet. Like, he's just some regular spirit out here, man. All right? But that respect is coming soon through prophecy. It's coming soon. It says, verse 12, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little... Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So the ones that are sincerely sincerely listen and sincerely believe are right, as of now are in great are right, have a great opportunity to receive mercy and grace from Yahweh Shai when he returns. That's what's going to count, man. That's going to be the end all be all, man. 
whether you're going to be put to death or whether you're going to get delivered in these last days. That's all that's all you people are going to care about. You know, you're not going to care about that last post on IG. You know, the last, you know, the last uh moment, that last hoorah you had. No. You want to care about if you about to be delivered or not, man. When you see Yahawashai crack them clouds, man, you see him in them skies with those chariots and that power with great glory. And it's going to instill fear. People are going to be fearful. Hearts failing, man. Let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Since I mentioned Luke 21, verse uh, 25, if, not mis if I'm not mistaken, going into the return of Yahawashai. All right. Let me just get it right here. Verse 26 says, Luke 21, verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. Men's hearts about to be people, people about to just all out give up and, and just want to die right then and there, man. Men's hearts going to be failing them for fear. Heart attacks off, off the rip. OK, but people, you know, the world doesn't consider these things, man. That's what but why? That's why we have to bring them out, you know, that much more. You know, because just to put forth those examples and, and put forth that spirit of repentance, man. Turn back to your power, your one true power. OK, that Kaaba stone is not the true power for you Muslims. All right. That's not that's not the true power. Where are the prophecies that back up that, that back up the times that we're in and the times that are are, are are to come in the Quran? Where are your prophecies? Answer that question. All right. So let me lastly end off. I want to end off with John chapter 14, uh, verse 6. And it reads, Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All right, so we need Yahweh Shai to even be accepted by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, we need Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, we need that, that mercy and grace uh, from Yahweh Shai. All right, because if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, all right, if it wasn't for him going up on that cross, we wouldn't be able to even be able to receive this truth of the Holy Bible, man. Let alone being delivered in these last days by Yahweh Shai. All right. So he is to be reverenced, man. He's a, a, Yahweh Shai is to be respected. He is the son of God. All right. That they, they want that that Lord, man, that Savior. OK, under, of course, of course, under Yahweh. All right. So Lord willing. You know, that lesson was edifying and also exhorting concerning that Yahweh Shai is the son of God. All right. And I will end off by giving all the glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Chakwadash. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.